know, it's kind of funny. Beautiful beach, beautiful sun. It must be a good place to be. Oh, my. We got some tires, guys. These are the tires right here, guys. We got some BF Goodrich All Terrain TAKO 2s. Load range C, right? Comfortable ride. I don't know how high up I'm going. To, I don't know how much money I'm going to dump into this Comanche, guys. But, uh. <coughs> this room's getting kind of full, right? These are the fog lights we just took off, guys. <coughs> I'm going to show you some more fog lights. But first, we're going to bust open these set of wheels, guys. Okay? You guys are going to like these set of wheels. I spent hours and hours looking for this set of wheels, guys. So I went with 15 inch wheels guys because even though part of me wanted to go with bigger wheels, um, you know, everybody on the farm for the most part, they just agree like, unless you're going to run a 35 inch tire or higher, you really just need, you really just need 15s. And I, 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 uh, this Jeep community still has like the Doc Dana 35 or Dana 30. You know, I don't really know, guys. I, I, uh, I'm not like hardcore knowledgeable on Jeeps. I will admit that, guys. I know more about Volvo than I do about Jeeps. Even though this Jeep, that, this Jeep right here, my dad's Jeep, I mean, it's been around, I've been around it. Since like 1995, guys. I used to go to elementary school. And, so. Also, par part of me wants to like paint some of this wheel like white, like the inside of it, because it is polished. It is partly polished, guys. These wheels right here are a set of wheels that I have for the XC90. Not that it needed new wheels, I just wanted some really custom wheels. So what do you guys think, guys? So these are the US Rambler. They're pretty sweet, right? They're pretty nice. Let's check it out. You know, I didn't know what, what to go with, guys. Like, I knew I wanted a little bit of chrome, but I didn't know if I wanted all chrome. And I really didn't want anything super flashy. And uh, I didn't want, like, the imitation beadlock. Personal, personally, I just didn't, don't like it. You know, I just feel like you just really have to go through a lot. You know, sometimes those, those bolts or those... Uh, they're not stainless steel, so you have to go get stainless steel so that they don't rust. And then, like, I just feel like overall it just isn't as strong, as strong as as strong a wheel. But I settled on these wheels, guys. These wheels, you can actually get them now. In the 15, uh, this is the only color I could find like this 
rough. And this is not like smooth, guys. So if you can see, like there's like a texture, okay? And, uh, but they make them in black, where this is black, and they also make it where it's all solid polished. Right, so that, that's, what's gonna, that's what is going on these, on these guys. But guess what, I actually already have one mounted. I already have one mounted, see? You can see right there in the mirror. And so I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like, guys. So you know, you don't even have to worry, guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I am expecting there should be two more of those, with two more rims in there, but we'll check. But here we go, guys. So this is what it looks like mounted. What do you guys think? And I did kind of wheel it out there and kind of mock it up by the by the existing Jeep. And I gotta tell you, it's substantially noticeable. It looks just, it looks good, guys. And so, uh, you know, th this wheel, yeah, I mean, it, it's probably already scuffed up and scratched because I took it to like a cheap ass place. I mean, $15 to get it mounted and balanced, you know? I mean, but I like it guys, I, I, I like it. And so, and, and these wheels, I'm gonna show you where I got these wheels guys, you know? <clears throat> I got them right here guys. I got those wheels right here at, at, on this uh, place. Oh shit. Trail built off road guys. And uh, I, I trust this site, guys. So you, you guys, uh, you guys can play around with this site. This is all I did, guys, when I went and bought these Comanche. And I knew I wanted uh, 15 inch. seven inch width and so what's kind of funny is like these looks very similar right these vision that this manufacturer is vision but I feel like they're all made by the same people but here they are guys US mags you know and uh, I think it really the the offset is really good guys because it's plus one which really means the back spacing is four inches which means they're supposed to stick out ever so slightly like just right and so um um yeah guys so these are the wheels that i got and those are the wheels that we have right here and uh i'm gonna show you like all the fog lights guys i i get the fog lights from like this place here let me try to move this light here um so this is I really recommend this this site, guys. It's called Off Brand Off Brand Products. See right there, guys. And um, they have like this latest. This is like the newest generation of light bars. Now I haven't bought this light bar yet, right? Because I just don't feel like I need it. But it is pretty badass, but maybe they have a picture on here, but it is pretty massive. Okay, well, they don't have one right here, but guys, check this website out, okay? I just hit the, the some of my medicine, so I don't want to ramble on about that. But oh yeah, guys, Here's some exhaust. This is uh, this exhaust right here is uh, exhaust for the XC90, guys. You know, I'm still kind of like trying to uh, get some measurements on where I'm going to place this badass Corsa. That's right, guys. This is a fucking Corsa, guys. I'm gonna put this Corsa on the XC90. This shit, this shit right here is worth the money, guys. Super worth the money. Now, what I'm really excited about, guys. So I'm going to show you, uh, before I show you the lineup of, uh, of lights, before I show you the lineup of lights, I wanna show you the decals, guys. I mentioned to you that 
I mentioned to you guys that I was going to try and uh, touch up some of the some of the paint and stuff, right? But I actually found this side, guys. So every time er, er, I do, er, I do a lot of research on the companies, guys. Every time I'm, before I purchase a company, I like Google it. I'm like, is this site legit? You know, and I just read a lot of reviews because. You can't imagine, uh, because some of those sites will sucker you in with some good deals, you know? And where you just want to pull the trigger. And uh, and so you get to read a lot of reviews, guys. So this actually came very well packaged, guys. And so I actually wish it would have came in another box, but luckily it didn't get crushed, right? Else I, I wouldn't be so jolly about it. But check this out, guys. Check, check out how cool this is, man. Look at this, guys. You know, solid Mopar, right? And so, dude, I'm going to strip it off. I already have a heat gun, but let's check this out, guys. It even comes with the lettering for the for the tailgate. But so that is really cool guys i'm definitely going to dump a lot of money into this jeep comanche you know it definitely deserves it like i said my dad bought it roughly around 1994 1995 he is the second owner of it and so he would never really dish out money because he's very like a practical guy you know and uh yeah i mean so I, that's why I really feel like it really takes like a family f to to really like build build the family up, you know. Like one person cannot do it, you know, because one uh, one person may be really good at something. Hell, everybody is good at something. That's pretty much it. Okay, guys, we're gonna run through uh, the lights now. I'm, I'm gonna open this up right here just to make some room in in, in this little office, right? Because it's getting kind of full. But um, yeah, you know. You guys don't care, right? Oh, fuck. Well, I don't want to bore you with that, but I'll let you look at this, this sweet bike that I've been building. And, uh, while I, uh, so yeah, guys, what else is new? Um, I did catch that that stupid coronavirus. You know, I was so skeptical to begin with about that stupid virus. I didn't even believe in it in the first place. But I ended up catching it. And I gotta tell you, that I, I really should title make a video of it titling Coronavirus Saved My Life because uh, guys, I almost got robbed. I was going to go ice skating for the first time this morning this one morning, and but I felt really crappy and so i just stayed in bed guys and i didn't go out that morning and so had i gone out that morning i would have gotten robbed so this is what went down that morning guys um i was laying in bed and my dog started barking because there was some aggressive knocking knocking at the door which is normal you know because i get packages delivered like daily and stuff and you know, UPS or FedEx or Amazon will usually just knock out out of courtesy and just leave anyway. So I didn't, wasn't even paying it too much mind, guys. And, um, but like I said, guys, the, the knocking was aggressive, man. So after the, the knocking stopped, I, something just told me to like, just get up out of bed, right? So I threw some shorts on, man. And I just decided to just go to the porch and get whatever got dropped off, right? But once I got to the, once I got to the, once I got to the fucking uh, front porch, guys, uh, I didn't see anything. I didn't see any package waiting for me on the porch. What I saw was like this truck, like maneuvering, doing like a three-point turn in the driveway, and and I was just baffled and I was like what the fuck's going on and, and it, it really hit me really so quickly because uh, I knew I was it was like a knock knock robbery you know where like they knock 
uh, super hard trying to figure out if anyone's home. And if no one's home, you know, they're gonna just kick in the door and take all your stuff. And so, even though like I, I have a gun in the house all, all the time, like I wasn't, I, I didn't want to go get it. Like it was just happening so quick, you know, like, and I don't ever want to have to shoot somebody because then I have to go to court, miss work. Like I still have to like defend myself in the court system. So I really tried to like not have to use deadly force if I don't have to. But luckily I was able to open the door super fast and yell at them let them know that hey indeed somebody was inside the house and so they got in that truck and they took off but it really like rattled me guys and uh it just it made me feel sick to my stomach for a few days man so actually what i did is uh like i went and i bought i bought like a security system guys so i, I got that right there guys with a bunch of cameras and um uh, so this is what like the cameras look like guys they're pretty beefy actually they're they're kind of heavy and uh i haven't installed it yet guys but i have them so i actually thought it was going to be a lot e really easy but it's a lot of planning to figure out where i'm going to place the nvr and uh also you know if i have sufficient length of the ethernet cord and blah 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 so it's actually i got a lot of projects going on guys and uh but yeah so that's also why i didn't post any videos there for a while is because I was like recovering and I was just really kind of just fucked up, fucked up right there for like my nerves were. Because I actually like went through something similar guys where I was like living with some like roommates and some of my roommates wanted to be like drug, drug kingpins and so like I never knew if I was going to get woken up by like the cops. Or if I was going to get woken up by, like, another fucking criminal. Like, it was really crazy, guys. And while I was doing all this, guys, like, um, I had just started dating, like, a new girl. And, like, I was working at, like, te uh, Solar City at the time. So, it was, <laughs> it was really crazy, guys. I got to tell you, man. I've worked. I've had so many jobs. But, yeah, it looks like we got all the wheels, guys. We got one, two, three, four. So, we got a full set, guys. Right there. We got a full set for the Jeep Comanche. And, um, and okay, guys, so let's see. This is really neat. You guys, you know, let me, let me make some room here, guys. This is cool, guys. This is a four-way. Right now, currently, I have a relay thing in the Comanche, right? So... It just has, it's a relay with just two of these, right? So with this here, you could actually run like a total of eight lights on one switch, which is really cool because it's a high amp uh, fuse and these LED fog lights are very low, low wattage. All right, guys, so this right here, if you guys, you guys have probably seen that in the background, right? That one, I fried it and so it doesn't work. But this one, and that, and that was my fault because I, I, I was just trying to rig it up. But I have two more guys here. And the, I got to tell you guys, these right here, these are fucking bright. These are so bright. So I thought I was going to put these at the bottom where I just took these off of guys. Right, because they're way, much lower, lower profile. And so we're going to go out there to the Jeep, guys, and we're going we're gonna to mess with them. But I just wanted to show you. The lights, right? Okay. Also, you guys are gonna like this, guys. I also went ahead and I'm gonna show you these little, these little ones because these were so cheap, guys. I really recommend them. Let's see if I can find them. Okay. I want to say they're two-inch lights. Yes, they're these right here. These Aurora R series two inch laser round LED light pods. 25 bucks, guys. All right, 25 bucks. But check it out. It's only it's one LED, right? Only one LED. 900 lumens, guys. This is so efficient. Now let's read, let's read a little more. And I believe it's a 10 watt LED, which is what you want, right? It's super bright. Well, it tells us 10 watts right there, guys. 10 watts. I got two of those, guys. They're right here. I 
got a uh, Black Hawk Down playing in the background. <sighs> now, the reason why I got these is because I really wanted something really efficient for the Jeep, but very subtle and low key ride because it is a very small truck. But, and I didn't want, want it to be like super loud, uh, you know, like uh, flashy in a sense, like draw attention because you know like i'm not trying to because my dad drives it you know and so i don't want to make him a target for anything or anything like that so i just wanted something subtle so uh we could put these actually on the top guys or on the bottom you know i don't know but god look how beautiful these are I don't know what that was, guys. I keep getting this stupid, like, battery indicator, so. If you saw me messing with it just now, that's what that was. I was like, is this shit still recording? Look how nice that is, guys. You know, one LED. Okay. Um, also. They give you really good hardware too, guys. Really good hardware. So you guys, uh, same connectors. They just give you the, the option to make your own relays. But what you don't want to do is, um, I'm gonna tell you how I fried this one, guys. How I fried this one is uh, I took this and I just, you know, hooked it in to the existing system and psh, so don't do that. <laughs> All right, and, uh, and that was my fault, you know, because because that, that actually was very, oh. this one right here, guys, is seam light. It's four LEDs, right? Two and two, and each one is 10 watts, just like this one. So this is a 40 watt light. So this is actually really powerful. And uh, so, yeah, right guys. This is a scene, scene, and this is a spot, a little spotlight. And guys, this is, um, this is the diffusion, you know? The, this one it really is this one really is nice guys you know I, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna design a bar and if i don't use them on the jeep i'll i'll i'll, I'll build like a doom buggy or something but i'm gonna use them somehow so there's the other diffusion and guys right here guys Ooh. These, wow, I didn't, whenever I got these guys, I didn't realize these were gonna be so big, guys. Check these out. These are, these are the, these are uh, 3K, 3000K yellow. So let me get this up, guys. They package everything so well, man. I really love it. I really love it, this, these people. Usually I don't throw that word around like love, you know, I don't like love this, love that, but when it comes to like badass fucking lights, man, you can use that word. You can most definitely use that word. So I'll just show you like, also when you buy their, their little kit for this, guys, so you get the full pair and you get a full relay system, guys. You know, so what I was talking about, like at, uh, right now in the Jeep, I have one already hooked, hooked in like this, guys. I have like this exact same thing hooked in. And so what I was saying is that like, you can you can hook this in to one light and then you can hook up another one like this to another light. And that means you can run fucking eight lights guys on one switch, you know? 
And if you don't think you have enough room, guys, I even went ahead and I ordered, I ordered this stuff just so I could give you guys a good video, a good review, guys. And this, this right here, guys, is a 10 foot extension. Okay, 10 foot extension. There's no relay in here. This is just a 10 foot extension, guys. And they, th their wiring harnesses are so cheap, guys, 20, $25 for every little single thing. So it's actually easier than making your own. You know, like you can make your own this stuff, but guys, they make good quality, dank ass wiring. So just buy, buy their wire. And all right, guys, so here are these lights, guys. I, I wanna hook these up, guys and see see what they look like, right? So I'm gonna peel this plastic off for you guys. I'm gonna peel the plastic off all of these so you guys can see. Um, but I really like how they provide the plastic. And um, so you can see this yellow lens, guys. See that? Isn't that beautiful, guys? Look at that. Isn't that fucking cool yeah dude that's pretty that's pretty cool this thing is beefy guys so we actually might put this on top of the bumper we might put these on top of the jeep bumper guys and then we might put these at the bottom because at the bottom of the spoiler on the jeep is white so this will like blend in with a little bit of the white background is what i'm thinking you know guys and uh Also have one more light, guys. I'm gonna show you one more fucking light. One more badass light bar. So you guys see like, they're just so clean, guys. Right? Pretty sweet, guys, pretty sweet. Let me give you another look at this amber one, guys. Now I believe the uh, the 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 LED itself is white. It's just the lens that's yellow. So that's interesting because I have another amber light bar over here. I'm going to show you where the lens is clear, but the LED is Osram, Osram or whatever, and it's actually amber. I just want to give you a close up of this diffusion of uh, this diffused uh, beam. Right, I think that's what it's called. So uh, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna straight up say, guys, I'm gonna the, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this Jeep Comanche, dude. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of the baddest Jeep Comanches. Like I'm just gonna dump money into it, guys. Okay, okay. Let me roll up this. Let me roll up this uh, decal thing, guys, real quick. I don't want to step on it. I don't want to get it creased up. And I'll show you guys too where I got this decal. I got it right here, guys. I don't know if you can see graphic. Can you see that, guys? Graphic Express. It's called graphicexpress.com. And uh, you know, like I didn't think I was going to be able to find something like. <laughs> Something so good, guys. Something so stock like This is really, really great. And I really, my dad hasn't been saying anything, but I could kind of tell, like, he's kind of excited. You know, he sees me buying all this stuff for it. Okay, guys, check it out. Check this out, guys. I got 20 inch. You guys see that design right there, guys? There's no screws at the, on the front of this face plate. That's what makes this thing so bitch, so badass and bitching, guys. Okay, IP69, right? That's supposed to be good, right? I don't know. Is that good, guys? I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. You know, it's got some uh, intuitive mounting. You know, you can, 
have a couple different mounting variations there. All right, you guys, uh, enough of teasing, right? You guys want to see it, right? Oh. I didn't, I don't know if it has combination beam pattern. It might, it might. Oh yeah, it does right there. See, it says combination beam pattern. Okay, okay. So, um, you know, I actually initially thought I was gonna put this on the Volvo guy. I thought I was gonna outfit the Volvo with a lot of this, but I tell you what, all of this lighting, it's all gonna go on the fucking Jeep, guys. All gonna go on the Jeep. So this one has, you know, I got another harness here, guys. Harness galore, guys. Check this out, guys. Also, you guys are wondering why I got tires on this bed is because I don't have a garage. So this this room is just sort of like a makeshift. And who doesn't like the smell of fresh rubber, you know? I mean, obviously women probably don't, but. Are right, you guys want me to tell this, peel this plastic off, right guys? I'm gonna peel this plastic off for you guys, why not? I haven't peeled it off yet. Let's see. I really am curious about this light bar. God, oh damn, dude, that is. I mean, you could. It probably looks clear to you guys, but like, you have no idea how clear it looks in person. Like, Dude, this, this thing is stupid. This thing is so stupidly beautiful, man. Yeah, guys, so what do you guys think, man? Pretty awesome, right? Pretty, pretty cool. So, um... Man, these LEDs are just... Does it say what LED it is? That's cool how they're all numbered, right? 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's when you know you're getting quality, dude. Whoops. So that's that, guys. Um, so, what did we already, I already showed you all that. I think, I think I'm gonna call it quits there, guys. And, um, it's still light out there. So I will go out there and decide. I'll mount up some lights, guys, and then I will add a, another segment of video to this. I know it's getting really long, so I might have to make another video for that entirely. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna definitely mount up some lights and I will let you guys just know what I decide. And uh, you guys can tell me if you'd like to see a different kind of light on the top or bottom or whatever. All right, guys, peace.